Since the thorns were announced in 2012, people have been thinking about what this would be like if the two teams could come together to play a match together. And we are finally seeing it tonight and possibly couldn't be for a more important cause for UNICEF's relief efforts in Ukraine. A mixed match, Portland Timbers and Portland Thorns, and now for the first time ever underway at Providence Park. Well, I did ask Kelly about her draft and said, you have so many defenders. What was, you know, what was your approach to that? And she said, I want to play the nine. <laughs> This is really good off the kickoff from the blue team and Hannah Bedford couldn't put it on frame. We're so privileged to get to, to play this game for a job and like, this is a real reminder of that. Oh, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> oh, clearly I got the memo of what color to wear, Gio. Your team's come up pretty much on fire. Wow, what was your pregame little pep talk? win you know it's great to be able to have this this night uh, unite the two teams and uh, this is phenomenal I mean in uh, good soccer too oh, oh. This is <laughs> PTFC for peace match the first goal is from Nathan Nathan Fogasa a Brazilian on T2 they had this celebration plan it looks like <laughs> Half of my career is played as an outside back, this so I have to give a little love to uh, defenders. This is true. <laughs> That's fair. Loria, Mabiala. So we don't often get to play for causes that are bigger than ourselves, bigger than our community, and I love being able to use the thing that I'm most passionate about, the city's most passionate about, these teams are most passionate about, and be able to use it for good. Should there be donations for every yellow card? Uh, <laughs> given this game too. <laughs> oh, Bingham with the save. That for with the opportunity. Oh. A step over. Oh. There it is. That for finishes. And the blue team levels it at one. We got ourselves a game. What an awesome 1v1 take on he just did. I mean, he so much confidence he just basically said i'm i'm 1v1 i'm going all you guys having dinner what's for dinner it's a pizza oh nifty move wow. nathan the goal scorer threw for uh -oh, jimmy uh -oh, chara uh -oh. in alone on justin bomb steve and jimmy Whoa. chara gets the second goal of this match just before half time that was cheeky that was cheeky They were looking forward to playing against each other. The word was they had never played against each other. He might have a chance uh, at uh, another. Oh, oh, Nathan already has one. Back to Jimmy. Oh, oh, cleared by Kelly Hubley. And then put in by Nathan. Oh, my goodness. And the yellow team is flying wow. before halftime. Wow. There's something going on in, in goal. It's Bill Tuiloma going in goal. David Bingham is coming to the field. Bill Tuiloma has gone into goal. Mabiala. I think they've completely flipped their formation. Let's see, let's see. Blue looking for one. Oh, it's just wide. Marin, in, in a game like this, you know, it's so important. Why is it important to you? How many causes are there today that truly bring people together? You know, this is the world's game and it brings people together. And we've been talking about doing a co-ed scrimmage for years and years, but we needed some cause that was kind of the catalyst, the right catalyst to make it happen. And, uh, and this was it. We're underway now in the second half of the PTFC for Peace match. Well, clearly Yellow's winning because I want to say, wow. Dyron came to play. All of his signature power, and Hunter sold a big save. Oh, yeah. Moultrie. Oh, just wide. Close from Olivia Moultrie. Yeah, that was a nice look. Yellow wants a goal. They're bringing up Hunter Salt. Wow, I didn't. Six feet, seven inches tall. I didn't know it was that time of the game where you send that goalkeeper up. That's a target. <laughs> they got to get the service into him. Moreno floating it. It was blocked. The goal oh is open oh for gosh. Blue. He's going up towards Espria. 
Oh, oh he overran it. <laughs> Dyron Espria, who's who's had his chances. You know he wants to get a goal. Back to Ryan. She has Whoa. a go, forcing a wonderful save from a Hunter Salt, pushing it over the bar. Blake Bodily serving it in. Blue needs to clear. Back heel from Nizgoda. Oh! The second one comes off. Here we go. The Timbers, Thorns FC, our fans and partners have now raised a combined $435,000 and still going up for UNICEF. That includes a $100,000 donation from the club. Uh, Yellow's finding themselves in pretty dangerous pockets right now. Misich has time. Oh, the ah! deflection off Super HNN, and it's 4-2. Could that be the goal that seals the game? I think Yellow is preparing another substitution to try to see this off. Sebastian Blanco giving final instructions to Giovanni Savarese. There are, there are no more rules, I think. <laughs> the entire Yellow roster is on the field. But the blue team is still threatening. Wow. This looks like one of those like uh, YouTube videos where it's like a hundred little kids yes. against Messi. You know, this also looks like a game I used to play as a kid. It was called World <laughs> Cup, yes. and it was like 30 players. Oh, oh. Hunter Soul, the goalkeeper. Oh my God! In a dangerous yes. spot, yes. and it's Vova. How he found an opening with 30 people on the field is is quite incredible. <laughs> It's somehow wide open. Wow. Offside flag is somehow up. They're playing on back heels and clearances. Oh, here's Gio. Oh, my gosh. Gio clipping it into the box. It's a good ball from Gio. It's an assist from oh, Gio. Oh play to Roma. What a and ball. It's five to three. <laughs> no, they've called it off. Offside. And the game is over. Uh, the yellow team. The winners of the first ever PTFC for Peace match. What a night at Providence Park.